Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how to put text on a curve. Uh, it isn't that hard at all. Uh, first I'll switch to top view 7 and then shift A and put a uh, Bezier circle there and then scale it up quite a bit. Zoom out a little bit. Now I'll press shift A and put some text on there too. And this text is going to move it over here and go on the edit mode tab and type something out and then tab off of uh, edit mode. Now the circle uh, you might notice that it's just called Bezier circle. Um, you probably want to name this to something. You can do that right there. Text.circle1.1 because you might have more than one text circle. And after that's done, you click on the text here and then go into your modifiers. That's the wrench here. And you're going to put a curve modifier on there. So you um, select curve modifier. And right here in the object, we're going to select text circle one. And it automatically puts the text onto the circle. Now you have some coordinates here. I'm going to go back into cat, um, camera view. And if you start clicking these, you can see that uh, your text starts doing some things. Probably some things that you don't want. Um, but that's probably the, the way I want the text on the circle right there. So right now I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis. So it's R and X for rotate and type in 90. And it puts it on the um, uh, standing up. So you notice if you move the handles here that you can transform your text along this path. I also notice that the text is going the wrong way. That can be fixed. Then I'll transform it again. And it's standing up. And I'm going to show you how to animate this text around the circle. But after your text is there, you know, you can uh, bevel it. I'd go in here to the object data for font and geometry. And you want to um, extrude it a little bit. And now for animating it, uh, that's pretty easy. So I'm going to go back to camera view and make sure that the text is where I want it. I'm going to have this come around and go just like this. So first, with the text selected, press I on the keyboard and put location keyframe in. Click that. And then I'll come out here to about uh, 60 and right click. And I'm going to click on the text again, but you know, I can't see the uh, handle. If you press G and grab it, you notice that your text goes uh, kind of weird. So I pressed X on the keyboard, so G and X. And I'll click about right here and then G and X again. And then I'll put another keyframe. Make sure your mouse cursor is in the viewport. Press I on the keyboard and location. And then just rewind it by uh, left clicking here. And you can press Alt A on the keyboard or press the play button here. And see that the text goes by. Now, um, in the, uh, you notice that the text is going too fast. And how do you can't change the keyframe? Well, you can go up here to animation. And you see that you have uh, some animation keyframes here. Just click on the location one. And just drag it out a little bit. And you see that the keyframes on the timeline here are moving. I'll switch this back to camera view by pressing O on the keyboard and then press play and it's a lot slower now. 
Now, alternatively, you can have it return if you want it to come back. I don't know, this might be helpful. Just click on these keyframes here and control C for copy. And then bring your uh, timeline out a little bit with your left or right mouse button. And then control V for paste. We'll see what happens here. Should go out and come back. Now, another thing that uh, you might want to know how to do is how do you get the text to keep revolving around this circle throughout the whole movie? Well, first I'm going to delete these keyframes. Click on them and press X on the keyboard to get rid of them. Then rewind all the way. And I already have this keyframe here, so I'm just going to move out on the um, timeline here just a little bit. And then click on the text and press uh, G on the keyboard and X, I believe. And just move it just a little bit. And then put in another keyframe. Okay, so it just moves a little bit, and it's pretty fast also. Now inside here, you're going to see on the location, since that was X, can't really see that right there, but you can see that it's changed. Going to change the um, channel and the expilation mode to linear I believe it was and you see that the line is red all the way up now if I press play the text is going to keep going around and around in a circle throughout the whole movie so that would be pretty cool you know now if you want to slow it down I believe that you have the same location highlighted and you press G on the keyboard and you just move this. I'm sorry. G and X, if I remember right. Now to slow it down. So that's how that you uh, make some text and animate it around a circle. And I hope this helps you out in your tool set of uh, Blender tips and tricks and uh, helps you to do some pretty cool things. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.